Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, we have a cannon, and they say that it's tilted upward at 30 degrees, and it fires a cannonball with a speed of 100 meters per second. They want us to know what is the component of the cannonball's velocity parallel to the ground. So that's a fancy way of saying the x component. So I drew an arrow, and sometimes when I would do these problems early on when I was in physics, I would get really confused and overthink this thinking, well, it's at the exact instant, so how long do I draw this vector? Don't worry about any of that, just draw a long arrow, it's 100 meters per second, doesn't really matter. We're just giving ourselves plenty of room. And they tell us that this angle right here, parallel to the ground, is 30 degrees. They're trying to make the problem more difficult by making you think, okay, parallel to the ground, it's just a different way for them to say x component like we talked about, and this is what we're trying to solve for and we don't know what the y component is right here. So whenever you have a vector like this, it can be broken up into an x component and a y component. In this case, we don't care what the y component is, but we could solve for it if we wanted to. What we'll be doing is using trigonometry functions because of course we just created a right triangle. So we need to find the adjacent value or adjacent to the angle so adjacent is what we're looking for. So when we use trigonometry functions, we'll be using SOHCAHTOA, of course. And so since we're looking for the adjacent value, we have to have one that has adjacent in it. So doesn't, so that can be gone. If we look at TOA though, it also includes the opposite. So we can't really use TOA either in this case. Obviously we have to use the CA. And what does CA stand for? Well, it stands for cosine of the angle is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. We know the hypotenuse and we know the angle, so let's isolate the adjacent. So we'll multiply both sides by h. So the adjacent is equal to h times the cosine of the angle theta. So the adjacent will be equal to 100 meters per second times the cosine of the angle 30 degrees. So 100 times the cosine of 30 gives us 50 square root 3. So let's do the approximate answer, which gives us 86.6. So we'll round that to 87, and that is 87 meters per second. So 87 in this case is the x component for the 100 meter per second cannonball vector.